Groups debuting with different members than it was planned isn't anything unusual, but it's always interesting to see which members didn't end up making the final cut. Some members are added and some are taken away, so the finished product might seem different. Recently, people were once again reminded that the girl group Idol was originally set to debut with a slightly different lineup. Back in 2018, soon after Cube Entertainment announced they would be putting together a new girl group, the Idol members were seen training together along with Yan Siwoo, the sixth member of the group. Siwoo's real name is Kim Ji Woo, and it seems like she took up the name Yan Siwoo as her artistic name. She was one of the trainees under Cube, but already had a cameo appearance on Pentagon Maker. As time went on and Idol officially debuted, people naturally forgot that Siwoo was once a member of the pre-debut group until Yuki shared one of Siwoo's new songs on her Instagram story with the caption, Our Jiwoo released a song, her vocal color is insane. Listening to your voice in such a long time is so great, I miss you. Looking at Siwoo's account on Spotify, it's obvious that she's new on the music scene and that the song Yuki shared is actually her debut. Yuki's message on her Instagram story shows that even though it's been years since they all trained together, she's reminiscent about the memories they shared. Many fans of the group also thought it was very sweet of Yuki to keep up with her friend's important milestones despite being so busy herself. It's no wonder that Yuki wrote such a thoughtful message to Siwoo. Back in the day, Yuki and Siwoo used to be incredibly close because they were the same age. Siwoo was actually the only other trainee that was the same age as Yuki as they were both born in 1999. We all know that in South Korea, age plays a huge part in someone's relationship and that having someone the same age as you almost immediately leads to friendship. Age wasn't the only thing keeping these two girls together. Siwoo could also speak Chinese so Yuki could talk to her comfortably, knowing that Siwoo would understand. Yuki relied on Siwoo a lot and together with Minnie, Shuhua, Soyeon, and Sujin, they almost made it to the debut, but things turned out very differently in a shocking way. Yuki recalled how one day their manager came into the practice room and suddenly called Siwoo to come with them, telling the rest of the the girls to continue practicing. Back then, Yuki didn't know that would be the last time she'd ever see Siwoo in the practice room, and she was understandably very shocked when they were told that she would not be debuting with them. The group stayed together as five for quite some time before there was a new addition to the group. Mion became the official sixth member of the group, and together the girls made it to their debut. Exactly why Siwoo left the group and agency so abruptly isn't known, but it could be due to one of the many common reasons why people decide to quit their trainee life. Trainees have stressful and restrictive lives, so in many cases, they simply quit to pursue more freedom. Some companies can be extremely strict about things like dieting, exercising, or having a social life outside of the company, and it simply can be too much to handle for some people. Some trainees don't fit in with the rest of the other trainees under the company, and the process can be a lot tougher than they initially anticipated. A former trainee who worked with companies like SM Entertainment and YG Entertainment and goes by the name Bianca Joe revealed that another reason why trainees leave or they're let go by the company are missed expectations. Since many trainees join the agency when they are very young, Bianca shared that the transformation that comes with puberty can seriously affect a trainee's career. She said, A lot of trainees are casted when they are really young, and sometimes they don't live up to the company's expectations after they go through puberty. How a trainee grows and evolves might not sadly match with what the company initially expected from them. Trainees getting along with each other affects the atmosphere of the entire setting, but if there's one trainee that doesn't match up with the others, it can be a huge issue issue in the future. Generally, companies want to choose people that complement each other and go well together, be it in their visuals or personality. If there's one that disrupts the overall harmony, it could be a good enough reason for the company to let that person go. This kind of goes hand in hand with another reason why trainees might not get to stand on their debut stage. Getting into trouble or engaging in problematic behavior is a fairly common way to get kicked out from the company. According to Bianca, it doesn't have to be only due to controversial behavior or involvement in scandals, it can also be due to a conflicting relationship between a trainee and their managers or other trainees. Bianca added that personality is a very important trait in the industry, and some companies carry out thorough investigations on their trainees to see if their trainees engaged in a controversy or did something problematic. Last but not least, a trainee might not debut simply because of bad luck. Bianca opened up about how subjective the K-pop industry is and shared, sometimes the company is just biased towards one member and they decide that they want that member over another member, who is also very talented and good-looking for whatever reason. The way Siwoo seemed to be withdrawn from the middle of the practice and never showed up to train with the girls again points to the company simply not finding Siwoo fit enough to debut. It also seems that Siwoo left the company shortly after. When Siwoo and Yuki's story started to go viral, many people expressed their disappointment that Cube decided not to debut Siwoo. One netizen wrote, Cube really has no touch, they removed a kid who's good at singing and languages. Another netizen commented on Siwoo and Yuki's friendship and wrote, both Siwoo and Yuki wouldn't have felt good about 
about it back then, just how close they must have been for Yuki to mention her even now. I hope their friendship goes forever, and I hope she doesn't get hurt anymore. A lot of netizens also pointed out how closely pre-debut Siwoo resembled Blackpink's Jisoo in her early days. In certain angles, Siwoo looked like she could easily be Jisoo's twin sister. In the past few days, there's been a lot more talk about Siwoo thanks to Yuki's warm message and support, but what else is there to know about her? It's obvious that being an idol wasn't the right career for her because searching her name on the internet shows that she never signed with any huge entertainment company after she left Cube. Judging by her newly released song, Siwoo didn't want to let go of music completely and decided to be a solo artist. She also has her personal YouTube channel, which she opened up in July of 2023. Semi-regularly, Siwoo posts covers of popular songs both from Western and Korean artists. According to her bio on Instagram, she's currently signed under two agencies, Bistus Entertainment and Nevod Official. Both agencies are home to not only underground singers, but aspiring actors and actresses as well. It seems that in September of 2023, Siwoo and others hosted a show called Lust to Love since she posted about it on her community tab on her YouTube channel. Siwoo herself decided to dabble in acting as well. Her My Drama List profile page shows she's already starred in some popular K-dramas and TV shows. Her most recent one is the drama Our Blues, released in 2022, which is is a bittersweet coming-of-age show revolving around a handful of people living on Jeju Island. Our Blues became one of the highest-rated dramas in Korean cable television history, and Siwoo secured the role of Go Miran when she was younger. In 2021, Siwoo appeared in two shows, the second season of Hospital Playlist and Imitation. In Hospital Playlist, Siwoo can be seen in the third and fourth episode playing the role of Lee Gyun Mi. In Imitation, Siwoo played along many well-known names in the industry because the drama follows the love story between a member of a rookie girl group and a member of the top boy group in the industry, and generally talks about the lives of idols in the entertainment industry. The producers decided to cast a few actual idols, namely Jong Ho, Song Hwa, and San from 80s, and Hui Young from SF9. Siwoo took up the role of Annie, a trainee for Omega Entertainment. When it comes to TV shows, Siwoo recently appeared in Play You Level Up Villains World in 2023. It's a real-time interactive variety show and generally seems like a good time. If anybody's curious to see Siwoo during the show, she appeared in the 3rd, 6th, 7th, and 12th episode. Overall, there isn't a lot of information about Siwoo altogether or what she did after she left Cube. After Yuki shared Siwoo's debut song, many people complimented her voice and singing, so it's good she didn't give up on that completely. Almost nothing is known about Siwoo's relationship with the rest of the Idols members except Yuki, with whom she seems to be on good terms even after many years. Judging by Yuki's almost bittersweet confession that she misses Siwoo, it seems that the two's relationship was marked by her departure from Cube. Hopefully, Siwoo and Yuki will have the chance chance to reconcile in the future, and Siwoo will continue to flourish both in her singing and acting career. We're sure that we'll get to know more about her in the next few months, but let us know if you think that she'd be a good fit in Idol.